We just got back from great old Iowa. Of course, Jake uh, performed all weekend as well. And the people of Iowa, they came out and supported, man. I had a lot of fun this weekend performing. I feel like as a as a tandem, as a duo, we nailed it. Thank you. It did it, feel doesn't good. it feel like yeah, like we gave them a show. Yeah, good. We uh, so you know we as, again as we like to start doing this. We did this uh, a couple shows ago. We, we kind of forgot to do it with Corpus Christi, but we want to give a recap. And so we're gonna we're gonna show a moment, one of our favorite moments of the weekends that we can show you without giving away our material. Yeah, yeah, a little so, crowd work moment. Um, Jay, uh, do you want me to go first? You. Uh, you will go first because you have the only clip. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, great. Uh, this was me talking to someone in the audience. Wow, look, also, shout out to the Funny Bone in Des Moines. I'm just now realizing the beautiful garland. I, they had it decorated very nicely. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I didn't notice it's like my second or third show. I started calling it out. Did anyone grow up here? Did anyone grow up homeschooled here? Okay, we got the homeschool table over here. All right, what, what's your name, sir? Noah. Noah? Perfect. Uh, <laughs> Yes, dude. <laughs> that's the real. That's a real deal. Right, right, right. kid. <laughs> Love it, Noah. <laughs> All right, who do you who do you got on your arc here today? <laughs> who you got? These your wife and sisters. Okay, okay, wife, sister. Oh, hello, hello. And, so, okay, sister. What's your name? Rachel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> If you know your Bible, that also checks out. A lot of you heard of Noah's Ark. Half of you haven't read the rest. So, uh, that's great. Okay, Noah and Rachel, uh, you grew up homeschooled together. Um, what? What's uh, t tell t all throughout or how long? All the way through high school. Since high school, yeah. I, was like, I didn't. You look older. He's like, I'm. I'm 26, but I'm not being homeschooled right now. <laughs> Make that clear. All the way through high school, great. And then, uh, did, did you go to college? Good work. Iowa State. Iowa State. Okay. There we go. So homeschool to Iowa State. How was that transition? Pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Rocks the boat a little bit. Nice. <laughs> All right, well, that's good. That's good. That's Shout good. out Noah. Uh, uh, I've I've enjoyed. I've done that a few times because it's this bit I'm working on and I'll always talk to homeschool people. Homeschool kids, great. Just give you great ammunition. It's I know. That's great so smart of you group. to do that. Yeah, thanks. It's worked out. It kind of stumbled into that. But I think that we showed a clip a while back where I asked a kid and he was like bragging that he lost his virginity when he was 16. I was like, oh, homeschool. Kid. Another show, a guy said he dropped out of homeschool. Yeah, that oh, was yeah. awesome. That, that, was, Kurt, that was that was my favorite one <laughs> for sure. Uh, so that, that breeded some funny combo so yeah he dropped out was there and you called him is that the same guy you called a serial killer oh yeah he's yes. like i dropped out to work at a meat locker and it's just like <laughs> this guy has committed crimes he's <laughs> none of that makes sense but uh, i don't know noah thanks for being a good sport noah i think i don't know he could have he he didn't look pleased with me by the end of it which is always <laughs> you go to a comedy show and my, i feel like most of the time people are good sports but there was a guy i think two nights ago first guy I call on hey what's your name sir he's like chuck I was like, what do you do for a living? Construction, asphalt. <laughs> and it sounded like that Key and Peele skit where they're talking like, you know, Kadarius, Malarius, yeah. Ohio State. Dentist, <laughs> teeth. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I was like, okay, where are you from? He says some town I've never heard of in Iowa. And I was like, okay, never heard of that. What are they known for? And he's like, football. I was like, at, at what level? I've never heard of them. <laughs> I don't think Brett think, Favre. You know, known for football. Green Bay is known for football. Oh, and then I, uh, Derek came to the show. Thanks for oh, yeah. thanks for showing up, Derek. Talk about Fun this. Show. Him and his wife, and you know, you're on stage. The lights, you can barely see the people in the audience, and um, like your wife, was she? Because I, for whatever I was asking, I think I asked you pregnant. Yes. Yeah. So your wife's, you know, family man, of course. He's impregnates her all the time, <laughs> and <Whoa. laughs> he's got several now. And was she like? It's funny because she probably didn't realize I was about to then converse with her. So she was just probably like, "Woo, I'm pregnant." And then her I was like, sister What's your name? pointed at her. Oh, that's she was going to kind of keep it low key a little bit. But then her sister's like, "Ah, oh, she's pregnant." Yeah. And so <laughs> yeah. I was like, "What's your name?" She's like, "Uh, you know." She says her name, and I'm like, "Okay, what's going?" on? And then I noticed her get awkward, so I was teasing her. And then I put it together like, "Oh, that's Derek's wife's name." I think I can kind of make out Derek's silhouette, and 
She looked I, at me in panic. Yeah, yeah, she, she knew like, you were. I don't, you were looking for material and like, yeah. So no, that was great. Yeah, she did great. Uh, it was fun to realize halfway through. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm terrorizing Derek's wife right now <laughs> <laughs> on accident. That was awesome. But we have plants could, at every show. Like I'm there uh, constantly feeding you guys. If not travel. Derek, it's somebody else yeah. making <laughs> sure we have a good show. Totally. Someone related to Derek is always there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so they were awesome shows. We are going to Orlando in like a month. We added a show because y'all are selling that out. And that's uh, it's the last show for a bit because I've got to like make sure a baby doesn't, you know, die. So I've got to like take care of it. Right, right, and right. And then we'll be back mm-hmm. on the road. So mm-hmm. get ready for new tour dates. Probably the start of the year we're going to announce a big. Start of 2023, the mm-hmm. year? Okay, gotcha. Let the recties know a little early. We just got the rough draft of the big nationwide tour for next year. Boy, am I excited. Leg one. Leg one. Who knows how many legs it'll have? Yeah, who knows? It only said leg one. Mm-hmm. And so getting very excited, working on this new material. I think you all love it. So see you in Orlando. Then I'm going to make sure Katie births the kid. Make Take, sure you're there. I think that's I will be there. Too. Yeah. I will be mm-hmm. present for it. Yep. Great. Excited. If- I'm excited to, to not travel for a few months. Three, yeah. three months no travel, two and a half months no travel. Yeah, I mean, be nice. Yeah, It'd be very different. If you guys are wondering whether or not you should come to a show, uh, the critics uh, have spoken. The reviews are in. Uh, quote by Steve Triplett: "I liked Trey's." <laughs> thank you, Steve. So there you have it. You know that should I move the needle. It. I like that. Is a pretty yeah. Thank you, man. Thanks I, for sharing I, that with that, me. From him, that means a lot. I did notice uh, old Mister Triplett. To my left, as I was up there, I saw him, and I did enjoy g- glancing his way every now and then, and I'd see a, a bit of enjoyment on his face. Yeah, I was like, you know, that means a lot to me, because <laughs> there's, a, you know, there's random people in this crowd. They like it. It's Jake Triplett's father likes it. That's a nice nod of approval. Dynamite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's great. Stamp approval. Or you had a you had another with someone's Rachel's family or something who was like, you know, honestly, I did not want to be here. Oh but. yeah. <laughs> It was like a, a kind of a distant relation to Rachel. Her sister-in-law's stepdad was like, I'll be honest, I uh, I did enjoy it, but I was not looking forward to coming here. <laughs> I was like, well. And you said, you were like, honestly, you. that's like a great review. Uh, yeah, like, that is good to know, I guess. Like even those guys typically who get dragged here, we can still make them have a good time. Yeah. Or to enjoy something you're as you're going, you're like, I do not want to be here and end up enjoying it is a tough task. Because as a man, I'll be honest, even if I might enjoy it, I won't admit it to anyone. I'll take it to my grave. <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, yeah, how was it? You're like, ah, I'm fine. I mean, I didn't really want to go. But deep down, you're like, it's like Squidward with like Krabby Patties. Mm-hmm. It's a pride thing. Everyone know that? Good reference. Thank you. You guys, you didn't see it either, Katie, did you? No. I mean, I watched a couple. SpongeBob makes a heck of a Krabby guy. Patty. He loves Krabby Patties. SpongeBob's like, I'll never eat one of those. And he secretly tries a bite and he secretly loves them. But he will never ref- oh, admit it. Mm-hmm. And he he finds access into the Krabby fa- patty vault and he eats so much and he becomes he ends up looking like lizzo by the end of it <laughs> straight to his thighs nice and he's also musically talented he plays the clarinet wow okay um so yeah great shows we'll see you in orlando 